Hey, welcome back, folks, to another episode of Fish Meat for Dinner. Max here. Today, my buddy Ricky and I, we were uh, out pre-fishing for a little tournament that we had coming up. And uh, we happened to stumble upon a whole school of bowfin. So this is what happened. We did a little bit of a catch and cook. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh, God. Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> no! Damn it. I think it was big. Dude, that thing was huge. That was at least six pounder. Bowfin. Huh? Bowfin. Holy crap, I have never seen one. This broke my rod. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> broke my freaking rod. Did you reel all the way up? Huh? Did you reel all the way up? No. Crazy. Fuck, it broke it in two spots. Wow. How does it, how does that rod survive ocean fish, but not a goddamn oh, bowfin, dude? Yeah, that's a good question. It's broken! It's broken! <laughs> Junk. Ah. I need to find something else to throw. That's pretty junk. Broken rod, and I caught one of these Whoa. things. That's amazing. I am the legend. <laughs> Let's go. That's amazing. <laughs> Can I say that's amazing? Hey, call me. <laughs> call me it. Oh, what am I? What am I, Ricky? Legend. Let's go. God damn, these things never give up. Ah! Ooh, chill out. I'm trying to get you on hook, brother. Oh my god, is that a pike? No, it's a pike. That's a big one. Oh my god. Oh my god, that thing is huge. Oh! <laughs> That's a big suck. We gotta weigh this thing. Oh yeah, for sure. Holy shit. Jesus cow. Christ, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Hold on, let me. Let out some that, those are the ones that are all fucking up back there, dude. That's one of them. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> this is huge. Oh my god, dude. Dude, this is nasty. Get in there. I can't. Oh no. There you go. Oh up. my god. Oh wow. <laughs> That thing's huge! Oh! <laughs> oh that thing's heavy! <laughs> I can't even say words. You got him? Oh, man. Damn it, you're falling out of slime. <laughs> oh. oh! As soon as you that's, put him down, he's going That's at least go. five. five oh, yeah, miles. that's five for sure. Holy mackerel. You're straight in the middle, right? Yeah. I was like, I felt something like, do do do, and all of a sudden. Woo! Oh and he flew out of the freaking air. Alright, dude, chill. Chill. Please don't destroy my spinner. I would appreciate that. Zero. Holy shit. How much? Six? Six seventeen. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> dude, you gotta take my picture. <laughs> <laughs> you get <gotta> what? <laughs> Alrighty folks, I'm gonna skip the cleaning portion as I already did a video on that. So if you'd like to see that, I'm gonna put a little thing up in the corner. You can click on that. But uh, we'll just cut right to taste testing it. Hey, what's up, folks? So, 
we just fried up the fish here. Um, it's uh, bowfin, mudfish, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we got Ricky here. Um, so, here's a chunk. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Uh, wants to focus on me. <laughs> anyway, so it's real like once you deep fry, it's actually like gets kind of firm. Yeah. But it's not bad. I put lemon juice on it. Tastes pretty good. I feel like it's like. Kind of like a cross between like a white bass and like a rock bass or something. Yeah, a little like, bit. It's got a little bit fishy flavor to it, but it's still like flaky, kind of like a like a bass or something. Not quite like a walleye. This walleye uh, is like yeah, super flaky. Definitely not. But it definitely gets firmness once you deep fry it, because it was like jelly. Well, you guys seen it yeah. when we we're filleting it. It was like jelly. And uh, now it's pretty firm, so here we go. Just some that's what it looks like, and uh, yeah, it wasn't that bad. What was your opinion? I don't know, I liked it. I mean, as long as I think if you have something like uh, what is this called? Tartar sauce, tartar sauce, yeah, as long as you have like tartar sauce or something to eat it with, I don't think it tastes that bad. Like, even by itself, I thought it was pretty good, so. I agree. It's not bad. I've had sheep head before, and I'd way rather eat this than sheep head. So I've never had sheep head. <laughs> honestly, I'd probably rather have this than white bass too. So, if you guys you are out so? bass, fi yeah, for sure. But if you guys are ever out bass fishing, you catch some bowfin. Just know that they are edible. They they don't taste bad. Um, just try to dry them out. Um, we were having a little bit of an issue with the breadcrumbs like getting moist. So make sure you dry them out, maybe with like a towel. Probably not a paper towel, because it'll probably stick, but like a towel or something. Kind of dry them out a little bit. Or maybe just kind of let them st uh, stay out a little bit, because we just flayed them up, rinsed them down, and threw them in a panko, and then fried them up. Uh, like I said, though, you want to uh, cut them into finger lengths, and then you want to... Uh, Fry them up within 24 hours of catching them or seal them up really good because uh, supposedly the meat kind of decays and isn't as good after a certain time in the freezer and whatnot. So uh, other than that, I hope you guys like this catch clean cook. Um, I'll probably put up a, a video of just how to clean it as well as this. But uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. I've uh, been getting a lot of support lately, and I appreciate that. And uh, hope everybody's staying safe with the COVID. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Thing goes by when you just don't think about when you just don't think about it. No. Pain goes by when you just don't think about when you just don't think about it. No.